good day everyone i hope you are having a nice time over there as usual my name is jefferson uh, in this class uh, we are going to look at a new topic which is log reading a place i employ you to help me subscribe to my youtube channel it's time uh, my video come across uh, your way help me subscribe click on the link and just help me to subscribe so that when uh, such videos uh, comes up again you'll be able to see them like i said today we are going to look at law grading Okay, now before I continue, I want to sensitize us on some fundamentals on law reading. So there are things we need to know in law reading, are the, def the definitions and the laws. So in this class, we're going to look at the definitions, the definition of law reading, and I will specify the law some of them since it is an introduction uh, class so first let's look at this if we have the short form for log written is, uh, is this log base b x or log x to base b so this i will pronounce this this is the number to which log written we have to find Mm -hmm. the number which log rating we are to uh, to determine that is x then the, the base, this one, the one below is called uh, where B is, is the base. So here, this is the base, and here is the number which log rating, or which log rating we are to determine. Then in log rating, in most cases, I will express them in base 10. Mm -hmm. So in base 10, it can be like this. If the base is specified as 10, you know that it is to base 10. But in some other cases, uh, if we express a logarithm of this nature, and there is no base indicated, uh, we should know that that logarithm is expressed in base 10. So if the base is not specified, you know that is what to base 10. In some cases, uh, it is usually specified, and in some cases, uh, they do specify it. But apart from base 10, which sometimes uh, is not usually specified, every other log written to any other base, the base must what uh, must be specified. So if, as we were looking at base sooner, we must indicate that the log written is what uh, is to base 2. So what? Base 2 must indicate if it is base 4, the base must be indicated. Okay. Alright. That is the first thing I want us to know. Now, first, we are going to look at the definition of logarithm. Definition. Now, the log rating, the log rating of a number uh, says x is is the power to which to 
but which the base is raised. It's raised to give the number. So if we are saying the logarithm of any number is the power to which the base is raised to give that number. So another word for logarithm is what power? Exponent. So the most important thing we have to know here is that you know indices and logarithm they are what? They work hand in hand. So indices and logarithm uh, they do work hand in hand. So here, like I said, if a logarithm of a number is a power in which to which the base must be raised to give the numbers. What it means is that for this side, if we have log uh, let's say 2 16 is it is the power to which the base must be raised so it's talking about what power here so how many times are we going to raise 2 to give us 16 so 2 how many times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 that is 16 so it means 2 raised power 4 so log 16 is equal to what? 4. How many times will you multiply your base by itself to give you 16 is 4 times? That is the simple definition of a what? Logarithm. So now we're going to look at the loss. Loss of logarithm. Laws of logarithm. The first law we're going to look at here is if I have for instance log s base b or log y base b, uh, the answer here, the result is log um, s y base b. s y I mean x times y. That is the meaning. Hmm? So in logarithm, if the base are the same and the operation line is addition, what you do is what you take the base as one. Then you, you take the log of, of log of both number as a product to the base. So uh, in logarithm, addition you multiply, and multiplication you do what you add. So the law operates um, and in opposite way. So now two for so have log x base b minus log x minus log y base b uh what we have here we write the log as a common base of b then uh, is x divided y so this s means s divided by what? y. So if it is subtraction and the base are the same, what you usually do is to write the base as a common base and you divide. Then 3, we have log x raised to the power n base b. This what simply means this power will, will come back and multiply the, the log to the base. Okay. Then we have the fourth law. We have log. We have log um, b to base b. Our answer is simply one. So if you have, you have a log written, uh, which is also bearing the same base as the log, so the answer must be one. Okay. Uh, we have the fifth law. We have log. Log um, uh, a a b we can express this as log. I express this as log uh, c a c all over log log c b. Or simply, as we were trying to change, as we were trying to change this one to one of the base. One of the base a cannot simply be this log. As if we want to change it to 
to another base. Anyway, when we come to the law, I will specify it. So this is what we call a change, change of base. Change of what? Base. So what we, the proof, what we get to the proof, I will just simply tell you what to do. Okay. Then uh, the sixth law here, we say we have log um, one to base B, our answer is zero. So if we have a log rate, a log, and the log is one to any base, your answer is what? Zero. So quickly, uh, let me squeeze the seventh law here. We have, we have a, let's say S raised to power log, okay, B raised to power log, uh, S, B, our answer is uh, what? X. If a power is raising the power and the base of a log rating, and we have a number raising to the power of a log rating, which is the same thing as a base, your answer is just the that particular number. So these are the some of the laws. Seven, the most basic one. This one um, is not very common. The proof is not very common, but uh, we take our time off to start uh, our the proof. Okay, and now we're going to start um, from one proofs. Proof of proof of the loss of log rating. So we're going to prove them. So we start from number one. We say number one say we have log XB plus log y b is equal to log uh, x y b now what we do here we say suppose we use this suppose that log s b is equal to log xb is equal to u and log yb is equal to v okay now we come to this law the fourth law which is log to any base so if we see if we assume we assume that log log xb is equal to u this one means 1 times u 1 times u so because of the fact that the base is b here we now assume we, we say that we cannot say that this one here is the same thing one here is the same thing as log what b b so we replace this one here with what log b b so we have here log x b is equal to log b B, B. So this one will now become what? Uh, power. Hmm? The U here will now become what? Power. So what you need to do, uh, you quit uh, log. Hmm? You quit, you quit uh, what? Log of both sides. Simply means that if we equate log, this one will go with this, and the S becomes B raised to the power U. So similarly, 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 uh, uh, Y become what B raised to the power V. So the same thing that happened here will also you know, be applied to this. So S raised S is equal to B raised to power U, then Y will not be also be B raised to power what? Uh, power B. So we look at the right hand side of the equation. Uh, we say the log uh, SY to base B. So anywhere we see X, we replace it with uh, B raised to power U.
So we have here log log base b bracket x is now b raised power u and y this one means times y is b raised power v so from the law of indices uh like i explained if we have b raised power u times b raised power v since uh the base are the same since the base are the same and we are having the multiplication sign here what you usually do you take the base as one and add power so this one is simply means b raised power u plus uh, what v so we come here and replace uh here b raised power u times uh, b raised power v with b raised power log b b raised power what u plus uh, what v so if you look at this uh, you now look at this law in the law uh, the, 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 the number three here the law we say that if you have power the power have to come back and here this become uh, u plus v log b b and you and i know that log b b is one so here we have a uh, u plus v uh, times one and it become u plus what v so our effort we are trying to look to say that the left hand side is the same thing as the right hand side you know that u u is log u is log what log s because we said that u is log s to base b and v is what log y uh, to base b so you see that the the left hand side uh the left hand side is the same thing as the right hand side so we have proved that that is the first law uh of in of logarithm so we have proved it okay then let's look at number two number two says that uh if we have log we have log of x to base b minus log y to base b is log of x over y to base b so what we do we don't need to do we come here we have known s to be what or x so we are using this we are using the fact that log uh, x over y base b we want to show that it's the same thing as this so x we know that x our x is b raised to y u and our v is uh, our, our 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 y is what uh, b raised to our v so this is the fact so here we come and what we have here is a division line and in this is we have uh, b raised to our u divide our b raised to our v so in division if the base are the same you all you need to do is just what uh subtract the powers so here become d raised to y u minus uh, v so similarly this will come this way and this become u minus v log log b b and you know that log b b is equivalent to one it's equivalent to what to also have u minus v yeah and you know that your u is your u is what log x b and your v is a log y to base b so we have shown that the 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 right hand the right hand side is sitting as the what the left hand side that is the third law okay now we move on to that is the second law. We we'll move on to the third law. So the third law of log written, we have if we have log s raised to n base b, we said it's n log. SB. So what we do here, we use this fact that log B, anywhere we see S, we put 
x is b raised over u. So anywhere we see x, we see this is b raised over u. And we have another, we have n there. Recall, recall in, in this is, if we have s raised to power a, raised to power n, it simply means s raised to power what? a, n. So remember this fact. So we apply it here, and this become log b, b raised to power u, n. And log bb, log bb is one, so here what we have here is just u, n, or n, u. And you know that your u, hmm, but, but u, but u is equal to log x b. So you put u here, and this become n log x b. So we have shown that this is this. We have used this to show that this is equal to this. Uh, that is the third uh, law. Then let's look at the fourth one. The fourth one says that if we have log b b is equal to one. We want to prove that fact. Why is it so? We say let let log b b is equal to uh let's say is k is k so here we can assume that this one is times one so that this will not be log b b is equal to log b b then because of this k will now be what raised to power k. And if we do this, we will see that b is equal to b raised to power what? k. And this b here means b raised to power 1. So that we equate what? We now equate, you say equate powers. Or equate power. So 1 is equal to what? k. So therefore, uh, we say that k is the whole of this. Mm? Therefore, log. Uh, b b is equal to one. This is shown. Okay. Okay. Uh, we we definitely stop here, and in our next video, we we'll continue the proof. We we'll continue what the proof. So we we'll stop here. In our next class, this an introductory class. We just need to have some idea about the laws and how. Uh, they are. The proof will enable you to you know understand it more and much better. Not just coming to you no know, right uh, uh, question and be solved. First of all, let's show this in so that we will be acquainted with the laws. Thank you. Please always subscribe to my YouTube channel. Each time my videos comes up, have a nice time.